Another diagnostic thing that I would check before I do a major Pro Tools session is my disk allocation. This is in your setup menu as well. The disk allocation window shows the record destination of the files that you will be creating in your Pro Tools session. That's a fancy way of saying which drive and which folder Pro Tools is actually putting your audio files on. If you wanted to, you could, and usually you wouldn't do this, but you can change the destination drive for any one of these individual tracks if you wanted to. This isn't normally done. Normally with storage being so cheap, we keep them all on the same drive. It's still a good thing to check to make sure that your audio files are going where you think they're going. Also, if you're getting messages saying Pro Tools can't get audio from the drive fast enough, disk allocation is where you would change what hard drive you were recording onto. There's a few options here. I'm not sure that they are test questions anymore. You could create a custom allocation in the middle of a recording. It will take your audio files and put them in a different place. Maybe if you ran out of space on your hard drive. There's also something called use round robin allocation for new tracks. This, I believe, just puts audio wherever it can find space. And of course, that's dangerous. It'll have audio files on different drives. The long and short of it, the one thing you need to know about the disk allocation window is it is the recording destination for individual tracks in Pro Tools. It is where you identify what drive you are putting your audio files on. Most of the time, this is set up fine, but it's just good to check just in case.